Hi everyone, it's Peter here. In this video, I'm going to take you through how you can use Google Classroom and Google Forms to create a self-marking quiz you can assign to your students. So let's head over to Google Classroom. And once we get here, let's go into the Classwork page, select Create, and then select Quiz Assignment. Now let's give this assignment a title, first of all. So let's call this Demo Quiz. And then the next thing we need to do is click on the quiz in Google Forms, it's already created for us. So let's select that and it's opened up a new tab into Google Forms. And now let's give this a title of demo quiz and we also need to name it up here as well. Okay, so now let's add our first question. And you can see here, Google Forms has already suggested what the correct answer is. So let's select that. And now let's add some more answers to our multiple choice question. Another nice thing to do in Google Forms for quiz questions is you can add an image. So let's select some images now to add to our answers. Okay, now let's select the answer key. And this is where we can define the correct answer, which is Mercury, and let's assign this a one-point question, and then press Done. And the other thing we need to do is to make this a required question so that the question can't be skipped. Okay, so now we've got our first question, let's add another one. Let's make this a check boxes question so that multiple answers can be selected. Okay, and again, we need to select the answer key and then select which answers are correct. And let's give this three points. Another nice thing to do is to provide some answer feedback. So let's press add answer feedback and we can provide feedback depending on whether the answers are incorrect or correct. And the feedback can be text, it could be a link to a website, or it could be a YouTube video. So let's provide a YouTube video where students can learn more about the moons of Saturn. and press save. And now if this question is answered incorrectly, this video will be shown to the students. Okay, and now let's add another question. Let's make this question a short answer question. Now let's select the answer key and add the correct answer. Assign some points and then press done. Now that we are done building our quiz, we need to move back over to Google Classroom and finish setting the assignment. So the thing we want to check here is that grade importing is turned on. This is what allows Google Classroom to automatically import the grades from the Google Form quiz. It also limits each form to one response per user and it will collect for student email addresses. On the right hand side, we need to select which class this is for. So let's just keep this class selected. And like any other assignment, you can select which students you want to send this assignment to. We can set a due date and time, and let's assign a topic. And once we're done, we just need to press the assign button, or if you want to, you can schedule the assignment for a future date. Now let's have a look at the student view and see what this quiz will look like for your students. So let's go into the classwork page and we're going to open up our demo quiz. And let's complete the quiz. And now press submit. Once it's submitted, a student can view their score to see what they got right or wrong. Okay, now I'm back in the teacher view of Google Classroom. And if we scroll down here, I can see that one student has completed this quiz. And if I click on the demo quiz and then select the edit button down here and click on responses, I can see a summary of the questions which have been answered. I can also see the answers by question or the individual students. Once all of your students have finished taking the quiz, we want to import those grades into Google Classroom. So to do that, we just need to go into Import Grades, select Import, and it will pull through the grades for all the students who have completed the quiz. And once everyone's completed it, just press Return. 
So now you will have a copy of the student grades in Google Classroom. And of course, students will be able to see their own grades in Classroom as well. Now, there's just one more thing I'd like to show you, which is where that quiz gets created in your Google Drive. So let's hop over to Google Drive and select My Drive, and then go into the Classroom folder and select the folder for our Classroom. And you can see here we have our demo quiz. So from here, we can go in and edit the quiz from here if we want to, or see the responses. And another really useful thing to do, if you want to do further analysis, is click on the Create Spreadsheet button. And this will create a Google Sheet with the responses for that quiz. And this also gets saved in the same location in your Google Drive. That's it for this video. Hopefully you found it useful. I'm busy creating more digital learning videos, so hit the subscribe button to stay up to date. And if you've got any questions, please do reach out and contact me. Thanks for watching.